Hello the internet, my name is Lara and welcome back to my channel. Um, I know that it has been, it's been a little while. Um, the past two months or so have been really, really rough for me. Um, a lot of stuff has happened, not all of which I'm going to share with you guys. Um, but, well, for one thing, I was ridiculously depressed. Um, it was kind of a bad one. And I had no motivation to do anything. Um, I managed to come down here enough to keep most of my plants alive. You know, using my own advice on, you know, keeping them alive. And, um, but I, I just didn't have I didn't have it into me to make any videos, so I didn't make any videos. And I just kind of, you know, whatever. Well, I am doing a lot better now. And so I wanted to come back with a video that is basically just an update on everything. Um, I'm just going to walk around, show you guys everything, talk to you about what I've noticed has changed. You know, some things that I might not have noticed. Um, and what has grown and what has whatever and some of my future plans i have no idea how long this video is going to be because i'm just gonna i'm gonna go over everything um and i don't know how long that's gonna take so if you are interested in that go ahead and stick around and we are going to get started All right, so we're going to start up here on this shelf. Um, I have, I know we're going to start here with a plant that it looks like has, I might have completely lost this one. I have another idea of what to do maybe to try and save it. This is my Begonia Benitochiba. Um, it was doing really, really well. I put it into this pot and it just declined from there. Um, I don't know whether the pot was too big if I wasn't watering it correctly or it didn't like the soil or whatever, but it just declined and I neglected to, I don't know, change it back or make another change that could have possibly saved it. So this is what it looks like right now. Um, we will see in a little bit whether or not I have any of my propagations of, of this plant still alive um, because it was already on the way out by the time I took the propagations. Um, so I may have actually lost this plant, which I'm really, really sad about. This plant right next to it, on the other hand, is absolutely gorgeous. This is a begonia that a friend gave to me. I don't actually know what it is. It kind of looks like my special angel, but I, I could be completely wrong. Um, it's very obviously a cane begonia, um, and it has these gorgeous leaves on it, and my friend gave it to me in this terracotta pot, and it has been doing great in there, so I'm not touching it. <laughs> it, it droops a little bit when it, when it wants water. I give it water. It's happy. Um, I just got this beautiful-looking leaf on my philodendron black cardinal. This has been doing a ton better since I put it in here, and I kind of propped it up. I don't know if it's happy about being propped up or if it's happy about the new pot. I don't know, but that leaf is absolutely gorgeous there so um we have my philodendron birkin which is just putting out this beautiful new like all white leaf um i assume that it's gonna you know fade and get some some green on it but this guy is just doing super gorgeous look at that so pretty i love this plant so much and oh and it's got some little mushroom buddies um this plant never gives me any problems, so. Um, back here I have my watermelon peperomia, which has been growing fine. It looks like it might need a little bit of water. It's feeling a little bit, a little bit limp, but it's just, it's chilling, living its best life. This has been a really easy care plant for me too. Oh yeah, definitely want some water. Um, and it lets me know when it wants to be watered. Um, I have my little Dragai Glasgow over here, which is still growing, still doing pretty good. I got a couple leaves 
it got a little dried out a couple of times and then I watered it and some of these leaves are kind of staying yellow, but for the most part, this guy's still super, super happy. Um, and then I have my little terrarium back here, which has been doing great. Um, the one, the one, um, sundew back there looks like it's kind of dying off. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that one, but everything else is doing well. I'm getting new traps on the Venus fly trap. This tiny little Venus fly trap is putting out some new traps. And then I've got those sundews and these sundews. Everything seems to be doing pretty good. I think it's a little dry. I think I'm going to have to water it. Um, but for right now, it has been doing pretty good. Um, all right. And down. And I'm sitting down. Okay. We're going to save you for later. Get out of the way. All right. So, these are my... I knock things over. These are my primulinas. Um... Oh, that's interesting. I don't know if that's supposed to look translucent like that. Huh. I don't feel like I... Actually, I don't know if that one's ever flowered before. Anyway, um, I had a little bit of an outbreak of mealybugs on these guys. Um, I've been struggling with mealybugs on some of these for a while. Um, and I think I'm starting to get it under control, but only every once in a while. Um, some of them are doing great. They are flowering. They're being happy. Um, let's see if I can turn that. Oh, that, that flower's falling off, but that's okay. I love the little stripies on that one. It's really cool looking. Um, and then I've got my little babies here. I moved my African violet out of the self-watering pot. It just was unhappy, and I'm trying to get it to be happy again, um, but right now it's just putting out these pathetic little flowers, so I don't even know. All right, what do we got? All right, um, some propagation box. Like I said, I'm going through everything, so we're just going in order here. I have some begonia down in here. I don't even know what it is. It's kind of half rotting, half still alive, and this begonia, which I think is my but going to watermelon, that's what it looks like to me, the coloration on there. And it's just, uh, it's been in here for a while. It's probably about time that I propagated it elsewhere. I think the roots are all running up like everywhere, but um, that probably could use a little bit of, a little bit of dirt, a little bit of TLC. What do we got in here? Oh, these are, yeah. Um, so, these are some of the begonia etnas, um, that I was doing, and, oh, this is actually kind of dry. Um, those are the Benny Tochiba cuttings that I have, and I have no idea. Oh, no, it looks like they're actually rooting. Okay, I might get a plant out of that before the rest of this dies. Um, and this is... I'm not sure. I stuck a node in here. I wonder if that's more Etna. I don't know. We'll have to see when that leaf gets bigger. Um, but anyway, okay, so I'm happy to see that some of the, the Benny Tochiba might actually survive. Um, because, yeah, I like that plant. I do not want to lose it completely. So, all right, what do we got? We have a looking glass. Um... But going over here, it's just kind of been chilling there. I stuck it there. I water it there. It's just being there. Um, okay. Got some more propagations. We'll go across and then back up. All right. These are my watermelon peperomias. And they are actually doing pretty well. Growing up might be time to repot them. Um, and then, you know, get them out to new and loving homes. Okay, what else do we got in here? Uh, I think this is some, um, these are some more primulinas. Yep, and we've got some mealybug action in here, so we'll have to see. These are, over here, are all, um, 
from Elena Jade. And these, I think, are Summer Song. And there's like a begonia in the middle. I didn't even notice that until just now. Huh. Anyway, I'll have to deal with the mealybugs at some point, but... <sighs> Alright, what's in here? Um, so begonia propagations. That looks like the begonia self-named Pearl Sky. I don't even know what that is. Um, and I don't know what that one is. So those are just begonia propagations. I think these are actually begonia. Um, yeah, they are. This is a begonia breakdance propagations where I actually took the rhizome and stuck it in here to root it because all the leaves had fallen off of it so I wanted to see if I could like revive it while not having it look ugly on the plant so those are doing okay in there all right so now we've got this um ooh, peperomia um obtusifolia obovata Peperomia ovovata. It is um, variegated. Um, I've lost a little bit of the variegation on it just because it doesn't have bright enough light, but I'm just kind of enjoying it. And it's just sitting down here and not doing anything. So, okay, we've got a um, Queen of the Night cutting that I am rooting. I have it tied up so that it doesn't fall over because the pot's not heavy enough. Um, I have this sundew that's been doing spectacularly. I'm pretty sure it's like multiple plants in there again. Um, oh, shoot. I just got goopy on me. Sorry. Um, I've got a red maranta back there that has just been sitting. I don't know. Um, I have a bunch of propagations here that are doing fairly poorly. There's a lot of begonia propagations that I just, I wasn't keeping up with the watering. And so they're just kind of dying and falling apart and, you know, stuff. So um, back there, I have some more um, Peperomia obovata. This is actually got white variegation on it as opposed to the other one that's green. Um, I root rotted it, so I was rerooting it in water. That one got enough roots that I potted it. Those still need some more roots on them. Um, some more Queen of the Nights. There's a Hoya pubicalix. Um, over here, I've got my um, a stick of my pink mint that is currently working. It was rooting in water, and now it is in soil. I have... Um, Adasia thornis that I grew from the end of this this leaf here and so that's coming up. I have my Philodendron varicosum which gained a new leaf and then lost a leaf and now it's getting another leaf. So I, I have two leaves that have grown while I've had it. I lost one. Um, I think it touched the edge of my um, humidity, um, my grow tent and um, just was unhappy. Um, there is my begonia self-named watermelon, which has been doing a lot better. Um, it was dying for a while, and I think I have managed to save it. It probably wants to be watered, however. Okay, and up. All right, a bunch of begonias on this level. We've got the um, begonia Peter Piper that wants some water. The begonia flamenco that I potted up in this pot, like off screen. I just wanted to get it in something bigger. This is my variegated goldfish plant that, oh, that needs to be watered. Um, I took some cuttings and planted them back in here and they're, they're doing pretty well. This is my Cebu Blue that keeps getting yellow leaves on it. I'm not sure, but I mean, it's still alive. I got some that really needs to be taken care of. These were some Christmas cactus cuttings, and this has gotten all algae and gross. Um, my Bonnie Coswell is actually doing pretty decent. I underwatered it, and the, the really tall leaf stem just 
basically dried and shriveled up and I cut it back and then this leaf grew out and has gotten bigger and then now I've got this other leaf so um I have this dip, dip and bakia back here that's just not doing much um this is my winter twilight that I think I keep underwatering it and it just keeps dying so I've tried to water it we'll see um my hoya um that I haven't looked at in forever. I think it needs to be watered. It's just, uh, um, that guy is, needs to be watered. There's a, another begonia break dance. That's my begonia etna, which keeps trying to come back and might have mealybugs on it. Um, There's something going on. Yeah, those look like mealybugs. Ugh. Um, I have my Begonia Palmer Prince, which is just basically doing wonderfully despite, you know, any of my efforts. I have my Begonia self-named Eventide, which um, has been great because it droops when it wants water and then it per per perks right back up. So that's been a really easy care Rex Begonia. Um, I've been really grateful for it. I'm actually terrified to pot it out of this little pot that it's in because it's doing so well. <laughs> um, this is my begonia break dance. The main plant, it's been going through some crap. Um, I have a lot of the edges. You can see are kind of crinkled and burned and some of the leaves are kind of losing all their color. Um, I don't know whether it's an over or underwatering issue. This is where I cut off the stem because it was just a big long stem with nothing on it. Um, it seems to be putting out some new growth out the side. So the plant is not dead. I'm going to have to do something to figure it out though. Um, this is my Begonia Black Fancy, which has, I don't know, it's, it's not doing terribly, but it's not doing great. Um, as you can see that, oh yeah, that leaf was there dying and this leaf is here dying and these leaves are doing fine. So I, I'm not sure I'll have to do something with that. This is the little plant that I picked up at, um, Strange's and I thought it was cool because it was silver on the top and then pink underneath and it has these cool dark green veins and... I cut it up in order to propagate it and literally, I mean like literally in two days it had started growing roots. Um, and then this is about a week's worth of growth. Those are going to be going in soil before too long. Um, and it's already started putting off new growth on the cuttings. And, and where I cut, you can see that, stop wiggling. Where I cut, you can see that it is also putting out some new growth. So that's doing great. Um, this is my self-named Begonia Black Raspberry. Um, it, I think I keep underwatering it and it's getting these crispy edges. It also droops, but if I don't get to it fast enough, I think it just go ahead. I've been losing a lot of the, um, the baby leaves, I think, because it's not getting enough water. Um, I did up pot it into something bigger, hoping that it would give it like more, you know, water, more time for water. And, uh, we're, we're still seeing whether that's going to work or not. Um, I thinned it Philodendron Prince of Orange that's just rocking it. These Philodendrons, man, they just, they just do whatever. Um, this is my Begonia self-named Pearl Sky that's mostly died back. Um... And it is still a little bit alive. Um, my Begonia Madame O'Reilly, which is uh, still alive, but very leggy and very, I don't know, I'm not happy with how that looks, but it's still alive, so I guess I should be kind of happy with that. Okay, over here, we've got a little less light. Um, I have my, my, 
what is this called? Euphorbia trigona rubria that started growing and then all the leaves kind of died and now it's starting to grow again and I'm just not sure what to do with it. Um, I have my begonia griffin propagations that have come out of um, the humid propagation box. I have this is a Peter Piper propagation that used to have more leaves and now they're all dead. That's another Begonia Peter Piper propagation. Um, this is a cutting propagation of my Brugmansia, um, my angel trumpet, variegated angel trumpet. It's having a little bit of difficulty getting adjusted to soil, but it seems like it's still growing. This is a new leaf since I put it in the soil. Um, I have my Begonia Kit Kat. I think that needs to be watered. It had good roots on it, and then I planted it in here, and now I'm waiting for it to, uh, I don't know, do something. These are more Begonia Break Dances that are just, I don't know, not the right color. I don't know why, but they're all there. Um, I have a Peperomia, I'm pretty sure Silver Frost. I think I gave it way too much light at one point. Now it's finally starting to put out leaves that actually look like they're the right color. Um, I've basically just been leaving it here to get sunlight and leaving it alone. Um, I have my orchids that all of them are, this one's getting ready to bloom, but I, it also really needs water. So I'm going to have to mess with that pretty soon. This is my Begonia Deja Thornis that just kind of keeps doing great despite myself. Um, and my other, my other orchid was flowering and then I didn't keep up with the watering and so the leaves fell off, but the stem's still there with this little bud. Um, we're going to see if we can save that. Um, what do I got? More Queen of the Night cuttings. My, um... With Lacuche, Begonia with Lacuche that I just, uh, I haven't been able, I'm trying to propagate it to see if I can improve the situation, but it just keeps losing its color. Um, I have some Syndapsis Pictus cuttings back there. Um, they're just chilling. My Stromath Trio Star is doing great despite me. Um, I thought this plant was going to be hard to take care of, and it has been super easy for me so far. I think it's not getting a ton of light because a lot of the leaves are mostly green with only a little bit of the white, whereas they used to be like all pink like this. But you know what? It's still gorgeous and I still love it and it still has the pink back. Uh, you know what? I'm perfectly happy with it. <laughs> it can stay exactly like that. I don't care. Um, my Monstera Deliciosa Again, has been doing great with no input from me. I think I watered it once just because I felt bad that I hadn't watered it in so long. And it's been popping out new leaves. Um, and it's doing happy. Um, my ficus teneki has been, after I burned it by putting it outside and then brought it back in, it has been going crazy with the new leaves and putting and having fairly large amounts of white. Um, on them and like the leaves are really big so it's doing it's doing pretty great um i have a philodendron red emerald down here the new leaves coming out have just not been happy um it just is i guess my string of turtles i think i was giving it too much light and all of these leaves in here didn't have don't have the patterning on them and then once I gave it less light um they started getting all of the the turtle patterning so now they look really cute it's getting nice and long um through under McKaylee's finale the leaves just don't come out right um my sonorilla um I'm having a video on that coming out before too long so I'm not going to talk about that much um, my Philodendron Prince of Orange that has been just killing it because Prince of Orange just does that. Um, a little bit of damage on the end of this leaf, but I don't know what it's from, and so, and it, it's still doing fine. Um, this is my other Begonia Looking Glass that is doing great. Um, I have my 
Calathea, uh, Calathea Musica, which is just kind of chilling. It's getting a little leggy. Um, like, the leaves are getting stretched up a bit, but, I mean, I don't know what else to do with it. Um, oh, that definitely needs some water. Um, it's my Begonia Lucerna. Okay, that Begonia Lucerna was doing so poorly that I came and watered it now. Um, it had been just chilling and happy, but, like, those leaves are just not looking good. Um, my Begonia Pink Minx, I cut it back, and this is it growing back from where I cut it back. Um, and then I have a whole bunch of Begonia cuttings that are sitting in water there that are attempting to, pro to propagate. Um, and then I have my Black Pagoda Lipstick Plant that I don't think has been on camera for a while. It had some mealybug problems. Um but it's, it's doing pretty well. I don't think there's any more mealybugs. Um, and it's been growing pretty well. And I just, I love the, pat the pattern on those. They're just so pretty. Which is obviously why I got it. I did say everything. This is the queen of the night that I rotted the roots off of and it's been sitting in water for like months. It's starting to get some roots back on there and it's actually starting to grow in here, but it's just kind of sitting over here not near anything else because that's where I left it. All right, we've got Syndansis that has been going yellow. I think I underwatered it and then recently watered it, but I'm not sure it recovered. Begonia, other Begonia, more Begonia, Begonia, Begonia. They're all doing pretty well. Um, this one has been flowering so much that I've got like this whole, like just, pile of flower, begonia flowers. Um, up here we have begonia taconite that kind of did really poorly and died off a whole lot and then it's kind of coming back maybe. Um, might need to be watered soon. This was my, this is my, I guess, alocasia purple sword. Um, it was doing terribly, and so I cut it back, and I cut this one back a little bit too far. If you're going to cut these back, you want to cut up here where only the fleshy is and not down here, but I cut it down too far. But it apparently decided it was going to come back anyway, and just did a little shoot out the side. So um, I thought I had lost this plant, and now it is being happy, though. So we'll see if it keeps being happy okay so philodendron silver sword is doing great i want to give that a uh, um moss pole soon i got my calathea macayana which is doing pretty good in here got some new leaves um my begonia deco daddy these are my philodendron brantianums um, that I propagated. This one's working on getting a new leaf there. That one's been, that one's actually put out a couple new leaves. Um, Maculata whitey eye, Maculata whitey eye cutting. I tried to do that plant. I don't remember what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's dead. Um, so, um, this is my Begonia Red Planet. Um, this is Hoya um, Crimson Princess. Some more Maculata cuttings. This has actually been pretty impressive. This is the newest leaf on my Calathea Orbifolia. Um, you know, it had these tiny little leaves, and then they got bigger and bigger, and now that one is, like, absolutely huge. Like, I don't even understand how big that plant is. And I've been basically doing nothing to this. It's just been sitting in my grow tent, so it gets, I guess, as much humidity as it wants, and it is happy in there. So, I'm not going to touch that. Um, two more begonias. That one might be dying. This one's doing okay. Um, my Alocasia Friedach has actually been doing pretty well. Um, this Alocasia that I still don't know the name of 
has put out a new leaf. My Polly is doing some stuff under there. It's also got mushrooms. And my Calathea Zebrina, which looks like it might have mealies, as well as spider mites. Um, but it's still alive, and I am happy for that. All right, in this corner is my Sansevieria. Um, it's been putting out a little bit of new growth since spring, but it's not doing much. It's kind of in a dark corner. I've been thinking about moving it, but it fits really well there. So, I don't know. I also haven't watered it since I got it. <laughs> um, I have this, um, Light Prince. It's a variegated lipstick plant. And... It was doing really well, and then I put it outside, and it got sunburn like, all over the place. A whole bunch of leaves died, and I brought it back inside, and it has been loving life in here. Um, so, like, you can see, like, a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of leaves died off of here. Like, that was all full of leaves, and then they just kind of all burnt to a crisp, and it's been putting out new leaves and doing well, so... Um, it was also flowering up until like two days ago, so of course it was, but I just love that plant. And I finally found a good place for it, so it's probably going to stay there. All right, over here on this window, we've got my Mykins and my Philodendron Brazil, which I water when I remember. Um, they've been doing okay. Um, they haven't been getting a ton of light, so, you know, they're getting kind of leggy or whatever, but... This is where they live, so. All right, outside, if you guys remember my, my beautiful Zabrina basket, um, it has kind of, I neglected it, and it has mostly died back. I mean, I can still save it. I just have to take some clippings. My queen of the night is doing not great. Um, I had a whole bunch of leaves just literally, like, shrivel all the way back. Um, and it's growing some, um, and way up there, um, but I don't know, we'll, we'll see what this guy does, it just, the whole plant just looks really bad, and then, um, this is my bird of paradise that just... I had this plant in the exact same place last year, exact same place last year, and it never got sunburn on it. And then I put it out here this year, and it just got sunburn and has basically just, ugh. Um, all right, so the whole bunch of succulents, I am not going over all of these because that's just, I do have my um, Sansevieria Silver Flame out here. It's growing a little bit. It really needs to be um, deep holland. Um, oh, my cactus here has, is blooming, so that's doing, that's kind of happy to be out here. Um, that is like a lot of blooms. I mean, look at all those buds. Um, my two rainbow hedgehogs have been growing. You can see where the new growth is there. Um, so that's kind of nice. Uh, a whole bunch of my little ghosty, my ghosty thing has been getting a lot, a lot bigger. Um, everything else has just kind of been meh out here. Oh, look, a ladybug. Beautiful. Eat all those yucky, yucky bugs. Um, but everything out here seems to be doing well. It's just not... Well, that one looks like it might need some more water. Everything out here is doing okay. <laughs> this really needs to be repotted. Ugh. That is just like... That is just like really, really a lot. Oh, this has been doing much, much better since it came out here. What do you know when it's inside under a grow light, it does not get enough light. Crazy. My Lola's been getting a little stretched though. I might have to chop her back. Um, is that everything up here? I think that's everything up here. Okay, so this is out my back 
door. Um, it's the begonia that I got. I saw it like this basically at Lowe's and it has all these, I had to get it. It was like 19 bucks, I think. Um, it's called Begonia Serenity, but it was just too pretty to pass up. My Begonia Griffin and one of my Calathea Musicas out here, I just wanted to see how they do outside. The answer is poorly. Um, so they're probably gonna be coming back inside soon. Um, these are my tomato plants which are actually starting to flower, which is kind of nice. Um, I have that tuberous begonia that I bought that the leaves are unhappy, but it's been flowering like mad. So um, I have my two dahlias. This one is getting ready to, I mean, it's kind of blooming. Um, so that's kind of pretty with the stripes. And then that one's over there. Um, these are my lilies that are the ones that survived me trying to overwinter them. Um, that is a morning glory that is supposed to be climbing up this black thing, but for some reason is going back there. I gave you a thing to climb, you silly plant. See this? This is what you're supposed to be climbing. Okay, maybe that'll work. That'll be better for you getting light, too, if you're out here. Okay. Um, these are my cucumber plants, and I have made a nice little trellis for them to grow up. I am trying to train them. It's kind of working. He's kind of wrapping around there. He did that on his own. Um, I did that one. And that one's still kind of growing, but... Oh, he's working on it, though. I figure I'll just, once it gets long enough, I'll kind of pull them up there and have them, um, yeah, like that one's almost long enough, but doing pretty well. Um, these are my marigolds, not doing as well this year as last year, but, um, I think, I don't think I did the soil really well this year. Um, still they're alive and, um, my Sansevieria, which are kind of just chilling. I, um, you guys are also going to get a video on this soon. Um, so I'm not going to go over these guys like super thoroughly, but, um, pretty soon we're gonna, we're gonna get, get that going. So you guys will see that. And, um, Back here I have, this is a hydrangea, candle hydrangea that is getting ready to flower. Um, and these are my, um, and then I got my hostas, which I have running down, that's a weed, um, running down my house and there's some on the other side too. Um, but they are getting ready to flower, so I think they're doing okay. Um, and I'm planning on letting them grow for maybe a year, maybe probably next year too. And then I'm probably going to split them up and, um, get some more. But for right now, I finally got something on my little side here. So I'm very happy about that. Okay. And last but not least, some plants that I put outside. We've got my Alocasia Regal Shield, my Alocasia California. That is a blueberry bush that looks like it needs some water. Yep, that really needs some water. This is my Brugmansia, the main part of it. It has been doing terribly. I still haven't figured out how to keep this guy happy. Um, I have my rubber tree, which fell over and they hit it with the weed eater. And this guy you guys haven't seen. I'm so glad there's some sun here for you to see. This is an Alakaisha black coral that I found um, at a, it was actually a plant stand inside the parking lot of the mall. Um, and I just, I saw it and it was the only thing there I was even vaguely interested in because most of them were outdoor plants. Not that this is not an outdoor plant, but like, just look at the color on that guy. Um, and it's got two new leaves since I bought it and it's doing really well. Um, and so I think that's actually it. I think those are all the plants that I have. So 
Um, that is an update on everything. Oh, this is getting, this is getting some new little babies down in there. I did not even see those. Um, so I am going to go ahead and, uh, sign off. This has been kind of an update so that you guys kind of know that I'm still around. And so I kind of know what's going on with my plant. And, um, if you like this video, go ahead and like this video. Um, I've got some, uh, some other videos that I'm going to be putting out pretty soon. I'm going to try and get back to my normal schedule. Um, so go ahead and subscribe if you want to see those videos. Thank you for spending some of your time with me today. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.